Why should people care about conservation? Well, I don't think we realize how we fundamentally depend on our natural environment. We sort of just take it for granted and, you know, as cliche as it sounds, you never really know what you have until it's gone. Kianza na kovu la mshare, hili ni kovu la mshare, ambalo wanipigia mshare kwa nyuma hapa. Lakini pia hili ni kovu la kamato na simba, hapa. Lakini pia kuna kovu ringine la panga, hapa kichwani, kama unaweliona. Kwa hiyo, haya ni makovu yote ambayo na kutanonayo kwenye changa moto zangu za kazi, nikiwa kazi. As human beings, we're connected to the land, you know, and having pristine areas is essential for for our well-being for our survival and it's up to all of us to ensure that you know we pay a little bit more attention and understand why these areas are so critical as a mountain bike industry we have got a deep affinity for the outdoors but I just feel like we are sometimes a little bit disconnected from the environment that we actually ride in. You know, we get very much caught up in the adventure. Ni kweli kabisa ni kama watoto wangu kwa sababu kweli maisha ya faru ni matamu sana. Ni kweli nimewinda na nimewinda hawa nyama wote. Hata faru nimemuinda. Hata tembo nimewawinda. Wote. Lakini niliona maisha ya hale haya nifai. Somebody like Nze Dixon, who once was an ivory rhino horn poacher, has now been with Grumeti 18 years. And this man has literally laid down his life for the black rhinos that's at Grumeti. What becomes more apparent, what becomes more beautiful, is the actual bond between the humans and the animals. I love this job. I love her so much. We, we have, a, together with our government partners, have a Black Rhino re-establishment project. And so over the last couple of years, we've actually reintroduced um, the critically endangered Eastern Black Rhino. Numbers are less than a thousand of, of this particular subspecies. So we're uh, collectively working hard to try and bolster their numbers. I actually started doing CrossFit in 2017. It scared me at first, being like the only woman there and doing it with the guys. It's almost like I am pushing them to do better. Na hata sisi wenyewe tunapenda haya mazoezi kwa sababu haya mazoezi yanatupa pumzi kubwa sana pale tunapokuwa tumemuona jangili. Tunamfukuza tukiwa na pumzi ya kutosha. We got to see the canine unit, absolutely incredible. These dogs were rescued off uh, the streets of the United States and through the Working Dogs for Conservation organization, you know, they get uh, trained up to be detection or tracking dogs. We're doing a tracking exercise here. So those two guys that are walking out there, they are the decoys. The handler will, will get one of the dogs and they always operate with the special operations group, so they always operate in tandem. The handler's going to be focusing on his dog, what his dog's doing, and this guy's looking out for, for him. So after he's successfully found the, the poacher, then he gets to play with the, with the toy. You saw that little toy that they go absolutely crazy for. Good dog, man. Good dog, man. The concept of poaching is more complicated than we think. It's, it's not straightforward. You go into it with a, with a specific mindset, with this 
love for the black rhino and it's all about the black rhino and we are going to save the black rhino come hell or high water and then you learn about the people and there's a certain sense of empathy that you get for people who that's their only means of survival when you look at a problem you need to understand how that problem came to play in order to solve that problem people are not poaching because they love to kill animals they're poaching there's women that poach to feed their kids i like i've met a lady who's poaching to feed her three children so when we gave her an alternative why don't you you know learn to be a seamstress or why don't you open a restaurant she was more than happy to go on board it's not just about the wildlife it's actually just as much about the people going out and visiting these places and learning about it reading up about it you know what am i what am i doing what can i do what can i as an individual possibly do that could that could make any sort of a difference and i don't really have the answer to that question but you got to at least try you know even if it means getting on your bike and and riding riding with Matt and participating in the K2N race was was just a series of events that sort of naturally fell into place. Brett from Red Knot Racing, he connected Matt and I and Matt and I started sharing ideas and thoughts. What role can mountain biking play in conservation and we got on a few phone calls and it was just very passionate from the beginning. As long as I'm here, I will continue to to ride for for the Black Rhino. I'm not sure are you going to join me Fanny? <laughs> I'm not into racing at all, you know. I'm a trail rider. Us trail riders, we don't race. <laughs> Except in Dero. But <laughs> everything is kind of feels like it's falling into place. It feels right. And, you know, let's do this. Currently, we are sitting at Cathedral Point at an altitude of 3,872 meters. Kelly has uh, really played out of her boots today. I'm not naive or presumptuous thinking that riding your bicycle can, can save a critically endangered species. But I think, you know, as, as humans, we just need to use what we have at our disposal, you know, and as mountain bikers, as an industry, we can use our bikes. Having recently completed the K2 in uh, stage race, Riding for Rhino was the reason why we ultimately did it, and that was to draw attention and to raise awareness for the critically endangered Eastern Black Rhino. But to go back to your first question, why conservation? And why, why mountain biking in conservation? I think it just comes down to one word, and that is relationship. You know, our relationship with our natural environment, our relationship with our material environment, our relationship with our passions and our hobbies and our relationship with ourselves and with each other. I don't even know how to end that, but you know, it just comes down to relationship.